Captain, check it out. I found the rum. Hey, just just drink up. Here, here you go. Oh, okay. See, I, I like I like the spirit you got there. Yeah, let's go. See, drink it, drink it with the captain. This this is what the lights are. Whoa! What the hell was that? It looks like the enemy is here. It, yeah, yeah. You you go check it out. I'm just gonna stay here and keep drinking, going my problem. Well, that's unfortunate. So you want to become a pirate, do ya? Living life up on the high seas, dying a slow, painful death due to scurvy? Well then you're gonna want to stick with me to show you the ropes. Now I'm a seasoned pirate. I know a thing or two about plundering, and I mean for one thing, I steal almost all the jokes I use here on this channel. But I've also watched all the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Except the last five. Also, when I was five years old, I won a costume contest dressing up as a pirate, so... Yeah. I think I qualify pretty well. Now I know what you're saying to yourself, Zephyr, I want to be up there with the greatest. How do I compete with the likes of, of Blackbeard, or Captain Morgan, or Jack, Jack Black? I mean, how do I do that? Well, the key to being one of the greatest is leaving all your doubts and mishaps at the door, and just believe. It doesn't matter who you are or who you were, all that matters is you have the spirit of the pirate inside you. I mean, look at a guy like Tim Curry. That guy was the pirate king until he decided to become a killer clown and then later he was hired as a consulier at a hotel until he finally came back and became the captain of his own ship. Yeah, and you know, before all that he was, he was a transvestite in a, in a mansion. <laughs> Tim Curry played as the Serpent and Judas in a TV show about the Bible. Is there something you're trying to tell us here, Tim? Rule number one, you're a pirate. As the name entails, you are a pirate, which means you don't take shit from nobody. Now, being a pirate isn't just a career choice, it's a lifestyle. Which means, on the clock, off the clock, being a pirate is always your go-to in any situation. Oh, 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 what's this? You're four months behind on rent? Oh, uh, a pirate? G girlfriend wants you to open up, maybe maybe talk about your feelings a bit more, be a little bit more open to a pirate! A teacher's mad at you because he stabbed Jimmy 47 times in the kidney with a makeshift knife. Oh, oh, what, what, what's this? What's this we got in here? Oh, something on my sleeve. Oh, gosh, I don't normally keep things in there. A pirate! Now, hold on. What the f is this? I want to join the pirate, but oh, faction balance is on here. Well, that guy sounds like an asshole. Th throw him off the ship, make, make him walk the plank. I want to be a damn pirate. Okay, so I ended up joining the British, which brings me to rule number two. Don't play as the British. Not only do you not get to play as a pirate when you play as the British, but whoever voiced the captain is trying to be on pars with that of nails to a chalkboard or roaring tinnitus. Prepare, starboard, we need to repair the ship. Fire! Fire! Give them hell! Hurry, load the starboard cannons with grapples! Rule number three, know your loadout. Now you get five things in your loadout. Two guns, a melee weapon, a special item, and... The hammer. We'll talk about that one later. Now apparently all these guns are historically accurate and come from when you can only fire once before you had to reload. So in that case, just just take the knock gun. It's the best weapon in the game because it fires like a shotgun. And and you really think any of these other weapons would be well suited for a pirate or for anyone? In that case, I mean, I, there's a pistol called the duck foot, and, and it looks like this. No, no, I refuse to admit that was ever used before. I, I refuse to admit that ever ended someone's life before. Watch my arse, I've got to reload! And hold. Where yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me! Ah! 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 Rule 7! Wait, wait, wait. Be drunk all the time. Every good pirate's philosophy is that there exist two kinds of people. Those who are drunk, and those who are wishing they were drunk. You see, this game knows alcohol in this game heals you. So, you know, just take a couple swigs of this whenever you're feeling down, and boom! Right back to normal. See, Susan, I was just pretending to be a pirate. I, was, I wasn't going overboard with my drink. <laughs> See, I was, I was just, I was showing my off my inner pirate, you know? It heals you in the game. I was just trying to get some health back, you see? It's, but please let me see my kids again. Rule number uh, three, repair your ship. You remember earlier in that scene with the holy hammer and the angels came out and they were all singing and it all sounded really majestical? Yeah, well, that's because the hammer is the closest thing you'll have to divine intervention while out at sea. This baby repairs everything. 
Now, scientists are still working to prove this, but they theorize that the hammer in this game may have strong ancestral ties to the wrench from Team Fortress 2. Isn't it simple? Just find a hole and start swinging away! This bad boy even repairs sails! Somehow? Now, repairing your ship is honestly really important. In fact, I'd say about 40% of this game is fighting the enemy, while the other 60% is just doing basic maintenance around the ship. So, a lot of the times, your games are gonna look something like... Repair this ship now! track of these anymore. Now that you've learned all the mechanics of being a pirate. I haven't even mentioned cannons yet. Shut up! We're finally ready to talk about how to gain EXP and go up levels. EXP can be obtained from doing almost anything in the game, whether it be maintenance around the ship or fighting enemies. But fighting enemies has a chance of killing you, which would just be a major inconvenience for your day if that happened. So let me show you the best way to gain EXP. The pump. You get 15 points for every one second you spend pumping water, while killing an enemy only gives you 100, so you be the judge. And you see, boys and girls, if you put in all the hard work and you show the dedication, one day, one day you'll be recognized for your merit and attain the rank of captain. How do I steer? How do I, how do I go forward? I, I can see my ship rocking back and forth, but I'm not moving. And now people in the chat are starting to get mad at me. And now my teammates are starting to ram their ship in the mine and oh, now, now we're sinking and so you just, you go up and you, and you keep pumping and maybe, maybe then the cool kids will let you sit back at their table. Oh no. So maybe I'm not meant to be a captain. Hey, not everyone's meant to be a leader. If we were all leaders, then there'd be nothing left to lead, and hey, I'm perfectly content with just being that funny guy. Charging head first in the combat, getting the job done as quick and efficient as possible, always putting a smile on your face, trying to make your day any way I can, and always trying to get the job done no matter what is needed in this- OH COME ON! By the way, thanks for 100 subscribers, guys, it really means a lot. Reloading this cannon, sir! I have a present for you! Sir? Oh, good job! 